welcome to my channel Kayla Creations. I'm Kay and I have these adorable precious baby albums to share with you today created with the fabulous new product available at ReneeBouquets.com. So the first thing I want to talk about are these adorable shaker boxes. They are just so sweet and so fun. They come in four different options, the bunny and the kitty as you see here. And then there's also a teddy bear and a puppy. And each, each animal has a choice of a couple different colors of baby block. And then you can also have the option, as you see here, to have the block on the right or the left of the animal. They're just so sweet and so fun. And inside of the shaker boxes, I've also used some of Renee Bouquet's product as well as some shaker mixes that I had in my stash. But I've used these adorable diaper pins. Now these are called beautiful bits because they're just little bits of beautiful chipboard pieces. And so you can see here I have this little star diaper pin and this one that it's a regular DARPA pin, but it has the little heart shape in the middle there. And so these I've used throughout the album just as they are, just as they come in the jar, you know, that creamy, that creamy off-white finish. And but the ones in the shaker boxes I have painted. And so I'm gonna hold this up so you can get a better look. So I painted those a metallic silver on the bottom. And then, I'm sorry, I got a little glare with the acetate there. And then I used a pink acrylic paint on the top. And so it's just, just so precious. And on the baby boy, I have used not only the diaper pins, but the beautiful bit stars, which comes with a whole bunch of different styles and, or cuts of sizes of stars. And so I don't know if this is gonna pick up with the glare on the acetate, but I mean, there's there's a star in that corner there that is just absolutely teeny tiny. And then there's a bigger star there and, and then the diaper pins. But that star in that corner is just teeny, teeny, tiny. And it's like a pin, like a pinhead. It's that small. Uh, just really fun. I did paint them all yellow and I just thought that was really cute to go with the stars that's kind of on the paper of the of the baby boy paper collection. I did use the authentic swaddle boy and girl and I also used some dress my craft baby papers. I don't know the collection. I just had a few papers in my stash so and I thought they went really well with the with the cute animals of the Renable K products. So also on the cover, I have used the pink and white mulberry roses and the seafoam and white mulberry roses. And I used two packages, not not all of the two packages, but it took two packages to get the the um, you know the flowers that I have on here, and um, and then also um, on the spine here, I have used these baby blocks. And these are also new from Renee Bouquets. And so you can get the personalized letters in the baby block. And you can get them with an animal on each end. Or you can get them with an animal on each individual block, as you'll see once we get inside the albums. So the baby girl. And then on the cover on the back, I just it's just plain with... Uh, a punch out from the baby collection and the same with the baby boy. I just and I don't have a closure. There just really wasn't a need for one. I just wanted to keep them simple and and pretty and I just like the look of it just being kind of clean and simple. So the albums do have quite a bit of give. There's a lot of room for photos. They are they do have interactive pages, and so there's a lot of room for photos, even with the three pages. We'll go ahead and get started with the Baby Boy album first. 
This is a gift, so I will probably go into a little more detail on this one, showing the different options with pictures and journaling and whatnot, and then I'll be more brief with the Baby Girl album. They are not identical. The cut apart papers were slightly different between the two girl and boy collections, so I have designed the pages just a little bit different on each one. So on the front and back inside covers of each album, I have put these baby frames and and these baby block frames, and they are just so cute. And so you can see the teddy bear here, just adorable. They come in all four of the different animals, and you get your a couple different choices of color with each animal. And so I'll show you the back too. We have one, this one on the back. They're just so cute, just so darling. And I have uh, made this so that this paper will slide out here. And so a picture can be uh, placed in here. I don't have it quite straight in there. There we go. And then uh, if if she does if the mom doesn't want to slide that out and cut the, the template to the picture and slide the picture back in, she can just put a picture right there in the center, maybe a locket size picture or just something like that, or even the, a little uh, strip can go across with the name on it or something. So there are a couple options there. And then this opens up here. And I have room for a slightly trimmed down 4x6 photos, maybe just slightly trimmed down on the sides. And then the pictures do slide under this little decorative element here. And then there is a tuck in spot here. And here is a 3x4 photo mat. And on the decorative fronts, I probably would not put a full-size picture and cover up that pretty decorative paper. I'd probably put maybe just some small, something small here, just leave that plain and just put the picture on the back. And this is just a flat out, just plain photo mat. And so the four by six picture can go here, or it can go this way. So it can be tucked in either way. And then there's room for a five by seven picture, which I don't have a five by seven cut, but there's room for a five by seven picture on the back here. And because this is seven inches, this can close and still see the decorative pictures here. So, but if the mom has a gazillion pictures and she wants to just fill this whole thing, she has that option too. I just tried to keep it so that the decorative papers would show just, I think it just really makes it pretty. And yet there's still tons of room for for photos in this album. So just in these just in these first two pages, there's enough room for um, you know seven seven to ten pictures, I think. So this is a little tuck spot I created with these adorable baby block letters, and. So you can get them personalized. So you get four in a package, so you can choose your four letters. And, and then you can either get them with each, each block with a, a little animal, or you can get them with ones on the ends, like I said before. So four by six photo mat here. And I probably would keep this plain or just be able to tuck even more photos in here. And then on the back is room for a 4x6 photo this way, or a 4x6 or a 5x7 this way, and room for journaling on the side. This long journaling card here has a lot of room for writing down the statistics of the baby when he was born, or or just some thoughts and feelings of the parents or a message to the baby when the baby gets older. Or there's an option to put a photo here and then maybe just some journaling or a title down on the, on the bottom there. So there's some options there. This is one of the Dress My Craft images. And I just love these, these little 
but buttons on the side there. So this is my, I call this my soft and, and creamy layout. I just wanted to keep the blues in that soft color and the creamy natural look of the beautiful board. And so this is the Renee Bouquet's baby carriage. And it's just so sweet and so vintage. And I thought it went really well with this. I wanted this vintage 3x4 card to set on the same page as this baby buggy because it's just so vintage and it, it's so soft and pretty together and this comes in three pieces so you glue the wheels on on top here just to give it dimension it's just really pretty and on here I have a four by six photo mat and then on the back a three by four journaling card or place for a picture or you can journal on this one and put the picture in there next to it. Um, a four by a trimmed down four by six will fit in here, so it would end up being a little bit less than four, and then maybe five inches to fit in the pocket. So there's a few options there. As many as many pictures as can be put in here without impeding the closure and the pages of the book. And there's really a ton of room. There's I feel like there's room for at least three or four photos in here and and so here's a large picture mat too and I, I would if it was mine I would keep this this part empty so that the decorative paper shows and then I would just put a four by six maybe a five by seven picture will fit there and then you'll still have that decorative spot right there and then the same on the back you can do a four by six this way or a five by seven journaling or in this one even, you know, something like that with a little bit of journaling in the corner. So there is a lot of room for pictures. Oh, and I forgot to mention too that each page is a pocket. So here's an 8x10 photo mat, or 8x10, 8x8, excuse me. So really an, a trimmed down 8x10, if it's, if it's got enough room on the top and bottom, can be trimmed down and put on the back here and then there's definitely room for 5x7 and 4x6 photo this way or that way and and then there's room this way so a lot of different options here and I'm not going to go through each of these mats that are in the pocket I just wanted to um, this is a gift, and I don't know if the, I don't think the mom has ever received a custom scrapbook before. So I just kind of wanted to go through some of the options of where to put pictures and journaling and whatnot. So, so this is a cute little image from the baby collection. It says, "My name is I weigh, I arrive, my parents are," and then there's room for a. 4x4 four four photo on the back here, and then maybe paperclip a copy of a folded birth certificate can tuck in here in the paperclip, or and then there's room for four pictures on the back. And here is a 4x6 photo mat, and then if mom has a gazillion pictures. There's always room to attach pictures here. And then this opens up, and I know this is a really soft, light colored page, so I'm going to stick this in here for focusing. Okay, so this darling little banner is from the punch outs that came with the paper collection, and they're just so cute. I backed them onto a darker cardstock than than I've used here, and these cute little hearts are also from Renee Bouquet's, and these are the Renee Bouquet's shabby heart beautiful bits, and there are I don't know if you can see there are three different sizes of shabby hearts, and these are the medium size and they're just so cute and then four by six photos can be tucked in here 
And then you can see here, I've also got the darling diaper pins going down the side here. I just loved this image in the paper collection. I just thought that was so cute. And I love how the diaper pins are going down the side here. That's one of my, my favorite parts of the album. And then just some cute ephemera from the paper collection. And then this opens up for three by four photos. Or if mom doesn't have as many pictures as she wants to put in here, um, maybe that can attach with a picture on the side or whatever. So um, I'm just going to leave this loose in the album and mom can decide where she wants to keep it. There's lots of different pockets to use uh, in the album. So she can decide on that. Now I have this on the front when I have this in the pocket, but it was catching on the wheel of the baby carriage. So I decided to put it behind the larger photo mat. Okay, so on the next page, I have my more colorful layout and I love this. This is where I have the, the box with the darling letters with each individual block with an animal, just so cute. And so I wanted this, the baby boy paper came with very neutral colors and I wanted to brighten it up with some colors to go with the baby blocks. And so I've used this paper from the girl collection and then the music paper is also from the girl collection, but I just thought these colors um, brightened that up and, and had all the blues and greens anyway with it for a baby boy. And then on these photo mats, I would not put anything on the front. I feel like when these slide in, they would catch. Plus, it's just fun to keep that decorative and have that color there on the back. But definitely, the pictures can slide in if they're mounted on the back. And so they're on the larger one, there's room for 4 by 6 this way or this way or a 5 by 7 in the middle. And this will hold a 4x6 this way also, or a 5x7 this way, or a 4x6. A little room for journaling on each one. So if mom doesn't want to write in the album, she can definitely type it in and print it out and then cut it to size and glue it in any spot she wishes. So that is an option. Some people are just not comfortable with writing. I don't particularly like to write in my albums because I feel like I always mess up. <laughs> And my handwriting isn't, to me, isn't uh, what I want it to be. And so I got, this is another one of those Dress My Craft papers. And I just thought those little ducks went so well. You know, the little animals going with the little animal baby blocks. It's just so cute. And so, and it just had the colors there that I wanted to pull out onto the side of the, the layout. So when, originally when I was designing the album, I meant for this to be, for like a five by seven photo. And, but when I got the paper on here, I was like, I can't cover it up. So I just put a little spot for a two by two photo right there. And then here, if it was my album, I would just put a five by seven or this four by six size right here. It will be covered up and leave that decorative. And there's a cute little twinkle twinkle little star right there on the bottom. <laughs> And so if that was my album, not what I would do, but you know, she has the option of putting as many pictures as she can fit on here and some journaling. So, um, but that's just a suggestion. And then we have a four by six photo mat and two, three by four, which can be used for journaling or pictures or both. This particular pocket, I wouldn't stick any more in there because um, I'm not sure if it would just hold with the magnet with that many pictures. And if once the pictures are in here, if it's too, if it doesn't stay, then maybe take one of these out and find another pocket to put this in. I mean, there's lots of different pockets or, or whatever, but, um, that's just a thought there on that one. That was probably one of the only pockets that you can't really stuff full because of the way it just that magnet there on the pocket. So, so this opens up and there is room for four by six photos and this tip in room for a three by four. 
and there's a four by six photo mat. And the same thing if once the photos are in the mat, um, if you do, it just test it and see if the if the magnet's going to hold all the photos. If not, then maybe glue this one down to the back of the page so that you can um, have a photo right here or something, and then maybe a little title right there, and uh, or place this in a pocket somewhere and just and just glue a photo in there. So. A few options. This is just kind of decorative. It just kind of ties in, makes the whole uh, album tie in together. So, and the last layout here, um, I already showed you the the bunny baby frame, just so adorable. This is that other paper from Just My Craft, and I just thought the little kitties went so well with the with the vintage look of the animals and uh, from Renable K's and so this opens up and so there's a large tuck spot here a 5x7 can fit in here with a 4x6 and a 4x4 just as many pictures as you think you can fit in here without taking away from holding that mag holding this magnet down shut there so actually I think a lot of um, things will fit in there and then on the side here the same as the front it has room for two four by six photos. This page here has an oh I got a I forgot to put the little ribbons on the banner but um, this page here has the mats holding this down here and so there's a four by six photo mat and this three by four card that says babies first and then you fill in the blank. So baby's first step or baby's first um, food or whatever. And then you can put the picture on the back or journal on the back. And then put the picture here of whatever you're journaling about. So these can go together like that. And you can even put a smaller photo here. Or, or you can put the photo here and then even more journaling on the back. So it's lot, lots of different options, Mom. And then inside here, a lot of photos can be tucked in. I've got these three by four journaling cards, a couple more babies for smile, babies first fill in the blank, and then starling bunny image that I think goes so well with these vintage images. So lots more can be tucked in this pocket as long as this can close okay. And then there's room up here for three and a half by five trimmed down photos but you know if you don't do a three and a half by size three and a half by five size uh, something like that will work as well so anyway so that is it for the baby boy album so I will briefly go over the baby girl album it is designed some of the pages are designed quite different and so I'll show you the front and back inside covers first. Uh, these are the frames. This one does slide out, but I don't know if I'll slide it out. I love that little baby image in there. And oops, some of my I didn't I forgot to tie up my my bows. Sorry about that. Let's see. And so this here, uh, this this does slide out and then just the cute I've got the bunny on the back of the baby girl and she but she this one has the green block and the baby boy had the, the, the dusty pink block so you get two different color options with each with each bunny frame and and the same with the kitty frame. This comes in the brighter pink, and I don't remember the other color that came, that went with the kitty. I think it's a bright blue. And so this opens up, and then I've got this tuck spot here. And then this page is a little different than the baby boy. Instead of the the pocket um, flap page, I've got this this opens up. This foldout opens up for four by six photos. This opens up for a 5x7 photo, a 4x6 photo, or a 4x4 with maybe a title or journaling there. 
And then this journaling card opens up here for four by six photos. And then I can choose to journal there or maybe put a little date or something there or not, or maybe just leave it plain. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. This album's for me. And I'm gonna be feeling these pictures of my granddaughter, so and I was taking some photos and I forgot to tie these back up. So but anyway, you can see that this had this ribbon closure here and this instead of doing the gatefold page like I did in the baby boy album, I chose to do this. It did not have the cute little baby uh, strip that said baby on it in the paper collection. So the sizes of the cut aparts were a bit different. So I chose to use this image from one of the 12 by 12 papers. I just had to include it. I think that is so cute. I love that vintage image there. Just adorable. So this opens up with the ribbon and then we have a little tip in here for a three by four photo and then the four by six tucks in there just like the baby boy album and this one I put the diaper pins on the side and I'm going to do that for the baby boy album too I just at the time when I made the baby boy album I had run out of the little diaper pins and so um now that I have more, I can put those in there. And these are the medium heart, shabby hearts from the beautiful bits. And then these are the largest size. And I just love that vintage look there as they go across. It's just so soft and pretty. I love the soft pink and cream page. And then this opens up as well for three by four photos. And then I could put a photo there, but I wouldn't want to cover up the the papers, so a little piece of memorabilia or anything like that, or ephemera from from baby can go there. Or I can even type up a date of the month, a picture on this page. I don't know, whatever I decide to do. And then this is similar to the baby boy, so this is a large photo mat, and of course the darling vintage baby carriage, and. Um, and then I just chose to put the flowers on the side on this one. So this one has the 4x4. Four four. The baby girl had more 4x4 four four and only a couple of the 3x4. So um, I don't have any more 4x4s. Four I used them all on the album. But this one goes here for 4x4 four four picture. And then this one has a 5x7 mat instead of the 4x6. And I just left it plain on the back. I just felt like I needed a mat back here to go with the larger 4x4 photo here. And then this page here, this is my colorful baby black page. And the baby girl paper had a lot of the yellows, so I included the, the yellows a lot in this layout. And I just love that bright pink and yellow together. It's just so fun. And and just a little bit different color combination here than the baby boy album just so very cute and then I thought this journaling card went so well with these you know the baby blocks with the, at the colorful baby blocks it's just so cute and so this opens up here for if I can get it open more four by six photos and then a four by six photo here and or I could do you know, a three by four, maybe even like trim down three by two, three by fours here, just depending on what I want to do. And then I was probably going to leave this blank just because I like the decorative paper there. But if I had to, I could put maybe a small photo there too. And that would still be decorative right there. Because it's not a magnet closure, I could put, I could put that in there. And and then here's just a couple of darling photo mats. Added a few more ribbons on the baby girl. I just figured I could put a little bit more frill. And then these cute little images from the collection. Just so very darling. So this page is similar to the baby boy. So this opens up for probably six photos. And then 
there's a three by four and a four by six journaling mat there, and this is a tip in right there. Love that baby paper in the background there, just the little cute little darling little babies. And then I have the pocket page here that was on the front of the baby boy album. And I love this vintage image with the vintage buttons that are just so cute. And I've got the twinkle twinkle little star right there on this album. And the photo mats. And then this opens up a large area for photos and then two four by six photos there. So those are my baby albums that I designed for Renee Bouquet's and I will put a link to all the products that I've used from Renee Bouquet's in the description box below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please hit the notification to be subscribed or to get notified of all my upcoming videos. I do have a home decor piece in the works that goes with the baby girl album. So uh, keep watching for that. And so thanks very much for watching. Bye.